I was so fortunate to have a director of operations and a project manager in operations to come to me with a great idea to do a reroute. Um, we had rerouted our business in 2019, but hadn't done a really full reroute in a long time. So when you look at ways to overcome the challenges that we were facing, doing a reroute uh, really uh, we thought was going to be the best way for us to solve those challenges. A few months last summer that we held orders for and our sales team got to a point where um, everything and everyone was pretty close to breaking, so uh, change was needed. By rerouting, we became much more efficient and we, would, we really needed less drivers, therefore shrinking that problem of a driver, driver shortage. 5,600 accounts were only using 31% of the stops when they were weekly anyway, so those accounts went to bi-weekly. And the fact that most of them weren't even using weekly stops really gave us pause of, you know, are we set up for success in the system if, you know, from an efficiency standpoint, um, this is how we're currently routed. We'd absolutely lost um, a handful of counts. Um, you know, we, we, this is something we track every day. Um, a lot of the times it was a temporary, uh, put in the proverbial penalty box for uh, a couple of weeks or a month or so. And then in most cases, we're, we were able to get back um, into the game, so to speak. So I think a lot of it was just an emotional response to potentially the way that we've been going, uh, going to market for years. This is not easy work. This is going to take a tremendous amount of effort. It's going to take courage, communication. It's going to take some strong leadership because some of the customers are going to be uh, difficult. But you have to keep reminding the teams, look, the small accounts, we, we would value their business. Every customer is important. But we can't let them wag the tail for the dog, right? I mean, we have to take care of our top 85 or 90 percent of our business to ensure that we're running a successful business. I think this is my first experience with an operations team who really understands what the sales needs are and Casey and Brandon bring that to the table which I think helps with the whole process of um, managing the team to understand. There's, we, we all have to understand both sides, but to work with an operations team that gets where sales is coming from is a game changer. Spending way too much time on the road. It's literally the least productive time that my sales associates have you know, in the job, in the industry, is, is sitting at stoplights and driving on the highway from an account to an account. So partnering with Casey and Brandon on finding ways to add efficiency to the way we're routing our sales territories, uh, we were able to find 15% uh, efficiency when it comes to miles driven in a given week. Look, I think uh, if you ask me why the reroute was successful, it's really because of communication, the right data and information. I mean, the work that Brandon and Casey did was the best I've ever seen uh, in the 23 years in the business. Having people understand that this success is gonna take time. This did not happen the first week, the second week, the third week. It really wasn't until about week eight that you started to see the success. So you have to continually tell people, look, the goalpost is coming. And I think that's what brings the reroute to life, is just their buy-in and, and when we have discussions with myself and my sales team and they're included, everyone feels like we're understanding what both the needs are. So with that sort of relationship, I think a company can accomplish a lot of things.